So I've been playing Dead Cells now for the past uh, two, three days now. And I've um, gotten to every uh, dungeon uh, in the game, I guess allegedly, according to the trophy list, because um, most of the trophies are hidden, so I can't really see what they do. So this here is a list of every trophy in the game, but I have no idea what the trophy is connected to the ones on my PSN that I can and can't see. Um, the makers of the game are smart, Alex, and they put little jabs and everything at the player and little references to um, pop culture in the game. Uh, Hokuto no Ken, I think Naruto's in the game as well. But um, so far the game is... Uh, ah, you know, like I looked at my friends list. I have like uh, 20 friends. I like to keep it small. And not many people on my friends list played this game. And I ran into one person on my list that actually played this game. And he barely touched it. It was back in 2018 he played it. He barely even touched it, essentially. He didn't get through nearly as and stuff as I did. It looks like he beat the game once and put it down. And repeatedly playing the game, like, I managed to um, get to the boss and everything without using my power, which is, you know, like, my, my, my revive ability, which is, you know, uh, which is, like, that's trophy worthy right there. That's, that doesn't seem too hard. But then there's trophies like, don't beat a boss with a ton of HP without getting hit. That's bullshit. <laughs> that, like, the only way you're going to do that shit is, like, if you have, like, some sort of, like, super set up there, like, that melts freaking health within, like, five seconds. Because after five seconds, that boss is going to explode, and there's going to be, like, stuff everywhere on the screen. You need to, without getting hit. And, and there's freaking, like, rooms you can only get into without getting hit on the previous boss. Some of them are easier than others, depending on your setup. But the last boss is a bitch. There's only three bosses in the game, I, I, allegedly. But, um, yeah, not many. So let me look here at the list here. And see uh, what some of these trip, trip, hidden trophies might be. Cursed Sword? That's got to be one of the hidden trophies. See, the thing here doesn't say whether or not it's a hidden trophy or not. Against all odds, I finished the game with the... What, what Cursed Sword? Like, what does it do? Like, you take twice as much damage as some shit like that? Like, what does it do? Finish the game with four boss dumps active. That's probably very hard. Uh, I don't know, because, like, uh, when you... Uh, use a um, a boss stem cell in the game. It makes the game harder. Uh, certain harder enemies show up earlier, and uh, like a, a little bit more enemies happen on like appear on screen, like maybe twice as much. Which is like instead of like you know two, three, those gonna like guarantee four, five, something like that. But if you it, like most setups can take take those monsters away. Uh, the hard part about the boss rush mode um, is the the health room uh, randomly. Um, the health room will have the the blast that gives you gives you all your your health back. It'll it'll randomly just be broken, and you won't you only have one flask instead of all the flasks. So that's the hardest part, you know, keeping your health in check. So you need to really think about your moves and your actions in that mode, which I don't really mind that much. Um, I haven't beaten a single boss yet in hard mode. Um, I think maybe because. I didn't know what boss I'm gonna like, what the room boss looks like, and, and that's on me. I should have known what the 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 boss rooms look like. They don't really tell you um, what like a boss is coming because it's it's named it's name it's 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 by a name, not like a look or a color or a shape or whatever. It's but all by names, and they all have this like they all have names, and they all look the same and everything like that. So like. Like, like, Black, Black Bridge, we know, Black Bridge, obviously, uh, it's a very obvious name, and that means a boss is coming. And Clock Tower, Clock Tower means, it's not a state, that's a boss. But some of the newer bosses, I don't know their names. I, I believe there's, um, like, there's, there could be four bosses in the game. Um, I, I think there are four bosses in the game. But, uh, I think there's an easy path and a, and a harder path. 
So if the game has still more mysteries, uh, I have to unfold, per se. So uh, let's read on here. Uh, so finishing with, with four boss stems, the, the reason why those are uh, a thing is because uh, like when you beat the game on hard, you get access to another boss stem. So you're doing that one with two boss with two stem cells. I have no idea whether or not the game gets harder at that point, like he does. Uh, so, uh, yeah, you need to like, practice and practice and practice on that particular mode so it's like nothing to you, and then go to the harder one. And that, in turn, lies the problem with the game. It's uh, more or less of a... a ch it's, it's kind of like a chore, like the recent game I quit, OPTC, and um, it feels more fun than OPTC, obviously, because it's action-based. But um, because the levels are random, it's like, oh, this again? But um, like, I don't really have a lot of fun playing the game. I, like, I don't feel, it doesn't feel very riskable when I play the game because, uh, because I wish I can keep my setup like every now and then, but I never do. Like, I can't keep any of the weapons in any way, shape, or form. Um, so I have to deal with like, crappy ass like a melee weapon crappy ass projectile or whatever until eventually in the game like like i don't know half hour in maybe it'll get something decent and at that point there it could be weak against that boss but you can't do that so it's part of the game it's, it's something new that i really never, never experienced in games before so i just gotta deal with it um flawless victory i think conjectivitis is the one i, I just lost on i think it's the big eye Conjective Itis, uh, yeah, you wouldn't know it's a big eye by that name, but yeah, it's essentially, it's like a, a big eye with tentacles that come up the ground, um, and that's the fucking, the tentacles are the hardest part, obviously, because tentacles in games, obviously, um, <laughs> tentacles, hentai, yeah, we get it, but, um, the, the tentacles, like, come, like, there's like three or four of them, and they come up the ground, and you have no choice but to be on the ground because the platforms are gone, and they have like a lot of health, and they have many different types of attacks to them because they're tentacles. They can do a lot of shit. Uh, so yeah, that's the hardest part: the tentacles. Um, uh, you beat without without taking a single hit. I'm not surprised one percent of players can do that shit <laughs> uh, because that that fucking boss is like it's literally like an X pattern across the screen. It's not straightforward at all. It's x pattern flying in the air, uh, homing attacks at you. Uh, you can dodge with the last second. It turns into bullet hell, like shooting like like mad green boogers at you and sh it's, it's, you have no idea. Like you have it like it's got to be like you got to know. And because the stages are random, uh, essentially they're 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 more or less random. Um, you can definitely choose a harder path to take, uh, but they're more or less random. And you don't know what setup you're going to have going into that boss. So you may be going in with, with a weak setup there. So you go, so you're wasting your time trying to get that trophy. You're going to, you know, do a lot of taking a single hit with as much health as that motherfucker has. There's like almost no way. Shit. Uh, well, let me see what they say about that. Of course, I fucking tapped the wrong one. Uh, oh, there we go. Flawless victory, fatality. And there it is. The most annoying boss to be without the... Yeah, I figured. Yeah, yeah, I'm just son of a bitch. You can press quit to the main menu to and copy your save style to save files up onto a new slot. What the fuck are you talking about? You can create a save slot. What the fuck are you talking about, buddy? You can't do that in this game. You get this. So the boss is roaring, yada yada yada. 
can see this because it's uh, schematic. Well, he hit him once, and then he went to the title screen. Okay. And then you can you continue from there. And then the boss, and then the boss keeps the same health. So the point is, like, to use a method to, like, do, like, big damage once or whatever, and then just keep quitting until you get it. If, if you think you're going to get, like, it or whatever, just go back to the screen and then, holy shit. So, save scum. Why did you not quit right there? He was, was, like, like aiming at you. And why are you using those whack-ass fucking shovels? They suck. Anyway, uh, back to the video. Back to the video, baby, baby. Back to the video, baby. Can't move. Eleven twenty-nine. Yeah, yeah. Even my recorder fucking time went away. Time to get a drink. Back with another video, baby. Back with another video, baby. Back with a back, 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 back with another video, baby. Uh, I can see that part. Do you need a hand? That's probably obvious, right? This, it's not. I don't know if that's hidden. Trophy, that's pretty obvious. Beat it with three. Beat it with four stem cells. Finish the game with a starter sword. Bo what the fuck? I guess maybe on the easy difficulty you can do that one. But so that's that's saying a lot. With a starter. And how do you control that? Because once you do that, it's random. Like, once he's like, once you do a certain thing in the game, it's like a permanent thing. So you can, uh, yeah, it's a random start. Like, what are you gonna get? And like, it's gonna be like a better, a better sword, shield, or bow than what you originally had. I hate this one. Die with a hundred cells. That's that's trolling right there. That's a troll trophy for sure. Because that that's nothing to do with like you being good. It's just you being that's that's them being an asshole. I did this one. Not many people did that. Huh. I probably earned that one, but didn't even know it. He, that there's not many elevators and enemies in the same spot. So that's that's harder than it looks. Did a daily challenge that that was uh, not easy. Second time I did it though, but I never did it again. I don't really care. Okay, yeah, overall the game is good, um, but I would say Shovel Knight and Hollow Knight are more fun games. This one's more like a chore, because, like, it's, just, it's a big sacrifice to get there, and to, and to make it all the way through it. You don't feel satisfied when you beat the game, it just feels like, it feels like, phew, this chore is over with. Eh.